Hello Aries, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see how your ex feels about you or what it is they want you to know. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed since this is a general reading. So if you are cross watching, this could be how your ex feels about you or what your ex wants you to know. All right, so Aries, I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of what your ex wants you to know is lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth, okay? So this person lied to you, obviously, okay? And I feel as though they were telling a lot of lies about what they were doing. I do feel as though this person did want to be with you, but you wouldn't be able to tell by their actions. I also feel as though this person was lying to you because they wanted to keep you around, but they also wanted to do worldly or lower vibrational things on the side okay so we're gonna get more about how this ex feels about you let's see what else they want you to know give me more spirit about what aries ex wants aries to know thank you i've never forgotten you even though you think i have so your ex definitely hasn't forgotten about you i feel as though this person may have moved on with their life or they may come off like they don't care when in reality they do i feel as though they think about you a lot Give me more spirit about how Aries X feels about them or what they want Aries to know. What is Aries? Thank you. I miss you regardless of how things seem. Wow. So this person misses you, Aries. They miss you a lot. Okay. And by them saying I miss you regardless of how things seem. Okay. By this coming out, I feel like. Like I said before, they try to make it seem as though they don't care. When in reality, they care a lot. They really do. But they don't want you to know that they're affected by the breakup. Okay? Give me more spirit. Thank you. You inspire me. Wow. So this person is inspired by you, Aries. I feel like you guys are go-getters. A lot of you may be career-focused right now. And so this person is very inspired by that. Give me more spirit. I feel like some of you may even be following your goals or following your dreams. And this is someone that may lack inspiration and you inspired them. I need more time to figure things out. Okay, so this is someone that wants you to wait on them, obviously. This person is trying to get things figured out. I feel like they're trying, for some of you, they may be trying to figure out how they can come back to you or how they can make things work. For others of you, I feel like they may be involved in another in another situation and they may be trying to figure out how to get out of it. I feel like your ex isn't happy, okay? But we'll see. We also have, I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you, okay? So they're apologizing for not being able to do right by you. And this person is admitting that they didn't treat you the way that you deserve. Okay, give me more spirit. Thank you. I've thought a lot about you lately. So they're thinking about you a lot. You're on their mind. I feel like this person daydreams about you as well. There may be like songs. For some reason, I'm getting songs that remind this person of you. Give me more spirit about your Aries ex. Thank you. I'm in a much better headspace now, okay? I feel like this person was stressed about the breakup, okay? I feel like they went through a lot of sleepless nights and stress, but they put on like they weren't affected by the breakup when in reality they were because they're letting me know they're in a much better headspace now. So this lets me know they were very affected by the two of you breaking up but they're doing a little better than what they were doing before give me more spirit i feel like they're trying to cope the best way they can with losing you i'm a better person because of you wow so you made this person better aries i feel like you showed this person that there are genuine people in the world some of you may have been dealing with someone that always felt like people were out to get them or they were just very negative. And I feel like you were very positive to this person. Some of you may have even spoken life to this person or and to this person and it made them better. OK, give me more spirit about what this person. Thank you. Would you reject me? OK, so that speaks for itself. They want to know if they were to come back, would you reject them? Is it possible to forgive and forget? So this is someone 
that is wanting you to forgive them. But what I don't like about this is they're saying, is it possible to forgive and forget? I don't see anything here where this person has learned from their mistakes. Okay. And that came out right under, I need more time to figure things out. So I feel like for some of you, your ex may even be trying to plot on how they can get you back without putting in the work. They're trying to figure out what are the right things to say to you. What can they do to, to what can they do short term to show you that they want you back? But I feel like they're not really putting in the work when it comes to changing their ways. At the bottom of the deck, we have, I still love you. So this person still loves you, Aries. Whether you believe it or not, this person still loves you. Give me two more cards, Spirit, for how Aries X feels about them. Give me more, Spirit. Ooh, we have two that popped out, guys. And let me get these. Because they fell on the floor. Ooh, I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. Wow. And that flew out, okay? It almost like hit me in the face, okay? So this person is feeling the consequences of their actions and they're feeling the consequences of losing you, okay? They're also saying that no other compares to you. So that lets me know that this person hasn't been able to find anyone else that can compare to you. They feel like you're the one for them, okay? This is like my Empress card because no other compares to the Empress, right? There's only one Empress or Emperor in the deck. And so this lets me know that this person sees you as their divine feminine or divine masculine. That's how they see you. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have, I feel safer in the silence. So this is someone that does not want to face their, face their, they don't want to face the consequences or they don't want to face you. I feel like this person is also afraid of what you might say to them if they were to try to reunite with you. Okay. I also feel like they're saying that they feel safer in the silence because this is someone that has to watch what, what they say. When you're a liar, you have to be careful about the things that you say, right? Because you don't want to slip up and say the wrong things. Okay, so that's why they're saying they feel safer in the silence because they don't want to say something that... They don't want to say something where they end up um, telling on themselves. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get you some advice when it comes to this person, Aries. So we know that they still love you. And wow, I was moving the cards and that one was still stuck there. I still love you. So this person loves you a lot. And even though I was moving the cards out of the way, they want to make sure that they left that message that they still love you. Okay. But Love just isn't enough at times. You have to put in the work, you know, and I feel like this person, they're not putting in the work. All right. Give me advice for Aries spirit when it comes to this person. Give me advice for Aries. Give me advice for Aries spirit when it comes to this person. Give me advice for Aries. Okay. Give me advice for Aries spirit when it comes to dealing with this person. Thank you. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords. So spirit is saying to make sure that you're not trapped in your mind with thoughts, especially when it comes to this person. I feel like spirit is also saying don't let this person trap you because this is someone that only wants you to see what they want you to see. They only want you to know what they want you to know. So this is someone that can be very manipulative. I feel like this person tried to keep you blindfolded to the things that they were doing, their player ways, okay? Spirit is saying this person's still a player and you're not gonna be able to trust them, okay? Because see, they're hiding someone. This isn't you. So they're keeping someone else a secret, all right? Spirit is saying that you're going to get justice, Aries, okay? You do need to remain single, but this person is going to try to reach out to you for growth. They're going to want to, they're going to reach out to you trying to, trying to make things better between the two of you, okay? 
But Spirit is saying this person would continue to stab you in the back. And so you are needing to let this go. I do see that a lot of you guys are starting to see things from a different perspective when it comes to this person. Okay. And so a lot of you are holding back when it comes to moving forward. And some of you are even holding back when it comes to communicating to this person. Spirit is saying to remain strong in this situation because once you completely isolate your energy from this person and move forward, you're going to receive a lot of happiness and stability in your life. I also see good money coming toward you. Spirit is saying that this person is going to want a new start with you. They're going to want a new relationship or a new um, family situation with you. Okay, this person's rem reminiscing a lot about about you, but they're not going to give you what it is that you deserve. They're coming to you as a knight. Okay, spirit is saying you do need to hold back when it comes to giving this person your attention because they're going to come back to try to reconcile with you out of nowhere. So make sure that you use good judgment because this person will only stress you out. Okay, so this is someone that's thinking about you a lot. They're thinking very fondly, but at the same time. They're only going to stress you out, okay? Give me one more card of advice, Spirit, for Aries. Give me one more card of advice. Thank you. This, see, Spirit is saying make sure that you don't get trapped in your mind reminiscing about the past, okay? Some of you have known this person for a while, okay? You've known each other for a while. And for some of you, even possibly since childhood, for a few of you or for others of you, you may have children with this person. Regardless of the situation, Spirit is saying don't trap yourself in your mind with all type of thoughts about the past, okay? You do need to move forward because this person is only going to give you the minimum, all right? Okay, so Aries, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.